Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of Outside In. Your go to source for honest conversations about relationships and marriage. So if you are ready, let's go. What a vanilla happy <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody, to Outside In. And today we do not have any guests. Yeah, it's uh, just the two of us. Mm, because um, we did get some requests from uh, our listeners saying yes. that you know they miss just the two of us. So Correct. we try as much as we can. As we try as much as we can to fulfill those wishes, lah. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, inshallah we can uh, have more of this. Um, you know, couple. Inshallah, talk. inshallah, inshallah. I miss it too. Yeah. So for this episode, but before we get on to our episode for yeah. today. This episode is brought to you by Your Reno Works. If you're looking for a trustworthy, dependable and responsible renovation company for your home, contact Your Reno Works at 83837879. Yeah, so for those of you who just got your house, mm-hmm. who are waiting for your BTO to, you know, your keys for the BTO, mm-hmm. want to renovate your house, yes. like you're sick and tired of your old home, right? <laughs> want to have a fresh start to... So you can contact your Renault Works yes. at 8383-7879. Yes, or yeah. you can go down to the socials at your Renault Works. And How do you spell that? Y-O-U-R-R-E-N-O-W-O-R-K-S. Yes, your Renault Works. And yeah. you can go down to their website also, which is also the same, www.yourrenoworks.com. Hubungilah. Cheer, macam video. Your Renault Works. So do contact your Renault Works. And yeah. Tell that tell them that you are a listener of outside in and you heard it from us. Yes. Yeah. You know she might get something. <laughs> Half is relative in nine. Yeah, I can always contact them and yeah, get your dream home right now. Lego. Oh, it was loud. Sorry, a bit too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Farah. So today Okay, Farah, wow. Dalam ni tak panggil nama I Farah. Saya kena professional. Tak kena cakap okay sayang kan? Eh boleh lah, kena apa tak boleh. I can say you. Yep. Okay lah, tapi tengah recording ni kan. <laughs> yes, you are, you are. Uh, can contact in five years. Okay, Shazwan, can contact in five years? Okay, boleh, insyaAllah. Sure. Yep, five years from now. Of course, of course, you can always contact them. Yes. Yeah. Hachibi, hello Hachibi. Thank you for joining. Hachibi, we're going to meet you soon. Yeah, it's supposed to be today, but we had something on just now, right? So we, we had to postpone it lah. Mm-hmm. But insyaAllah, we'll meet you soon uh, in October, insyaAllah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for today, today we're going to be sharing stories um, a few days ago, I posted on on our Instagram mm. to uh, we we asked our listeners, our our followers to share their stories mm-hmm. with us, whether or not it's a sad story, ke, horror story, ke, any right, stories partic- in, in in no particular order. Your experiences, yeah, to share your experiences. Uh, and the good thing about that that platform is that because it's uh, anonymous, anonymous organization. Yeah, so if let's say you wanna share everything, share anything, ah, sudah. <laughs> Gonna share anything, uh, you know. That's that's all your chest. Wanna get it off your chest? You can always uh, use that link that we shared in our Instagram story. Yeah. It's, it's now pinned in our highlights, yeah. uh, and then we'll read out the Instagram. St- uh, we'll read out the stories, and of course, it's all anonymous. Mm. And at the same time, we'll be sharing our opinions and our thoughts as well. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> so, yeah. So maybe we should start sharing the first one. Okay. Yeah, which one do you share first? I wanna share. Okay, maybe I'll share this one. Okay, mm. so it's all anonymous, right? Yes. So, this person said that, I just hope that husbands... Eh, lagu sikit boleh? Ni sedih, ya? Ni sedih. Okay, okay. I just hope that husbands who work night shift and wife is pregnant to ensure that she's not home alone and if she is, be on standby. Had so many experiences of getting disturbed <laughs> by these beings during my first pregnancy. Hmm. Especially when husband was on night shift. Itu dah cerita cerita scary story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, belum habis. Ah, okay, lagi. Worst case, something was pressing on my womb. Pressing on your womb? Yes, that's what she said lah. Something was pressing. <laughs> Macam sesak nafas Thank you, thank you Kapa Hal Enhance kita tengah cerita seseram ni kan Yeah, something was pressing on her womb eh That's scary man I think this comes um When you're pregnant right I think it brings a lot of uh, challenges mm. Not just in terms of you know The health wise But also in the supernatural Correct, okay, because I mean, you Dara Manis Yeah, and then uh, for those of you Who have listened to uh, Pretty First Story mm. Wife, you know When she just gave birth 
there was some agus uh, serama <laughs> yeah there were some um, complications that they faced in yep. terms of the supernatural because especially after you give birth right you are your body is tired mm-hmm. and infection and everything so you your immune system is also down and yeah. then mentally you're drained yeah. physically you're drained so you know benda-benda gitu macam senang nak mm. kacau correct correct so yeah. it's um i guess the best way is you know um of course for for us muslims when you when you when you just give birth and all that always remember to you know um keep yourself clean in whatever manner that's possible lah mm-hmm. and of course the husband especially try your best to always be there yeah. uh, kalau tak boleh kerja ke apa then you know um sediakan rumah tu lah in, in the sense where selalu bersolat selalu mm. you know ber ensure that your house is clean yeah. clean lah no not just clean lah mm. uh, apa ni i dengar-dengar wanita yang tengah pantang they should not be alone Oh, there are a lot of the comments were saying jangan yeah. seorang, but I guess um, sometimes it's inev- inevitable. Mm. You know? Yeah, but I mean usually women will stay at their parents' house. Mm. Kalau yeah. especially if the husband is working night shift, mm. it's safer. It's not good to be alone, especially mentally and like benda-benda macam gini can happen to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So must always be wary lah. But you imagine lah, you baru mm. beranak, mm. you dah penat, you dah sakit, macam mana you nak jaga baby? So mm. you need that help. Mm. You Correct. need someone to help take care of the baby. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I guess um like like I think a few of the episodes so we mentioned it takes a village to look after a child Correct. to bring up a child right. So yes. yeah, let the village ai the pandai je buka pintu ai. <laughs> <laughs> Kucing kita buka kita punya pintu, pintu dapur. Dah <laughs> pandai. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first story and for the one that shared um hopefully um you know if you have to go through it again you know, maybe, maybe if you to have a, uh, another child and what not mm. and hopefully you can share with your husband you know that to say that if possible can you like sh- you know change your shift to morning shift yeah. yeah at least you can you know have someone there with you kalau tak pun maybe perhaps you can stay with your your, your relatives or something yeah. like that just for the first few you know first few pantang go lah pantang, pantang, pantang tu oh, days, ada orang nak kena jaga you cannot be alone mm. yeah, because correct. you are you are weak Yeah. So, cakap you are weak during that pantang period. So, yeah, you I need mean, somebody to take care of you, and you need to eat right. You not gonna bengkung. Mm. There's a lot of things, and then on top of that, you have to take care of the baby. Like, yeah, macam yeah. Mana? And then also, you know, giving birth is not something easy. It's, it's a life or death situation. Yeah. Right. So def- definitely, your body will go through something. Will go through something very hard, lah. Yeah. Technically, Kucing. you are. <laughs> technically, <laughs> you are healing. Mm. Your body is healing. Healing sampai pagi. Tak mm. balik. <laughs> Eh, kucing-kucing ni main kejar-kejar lah pula. Selalunya, <laughs> uh, usually our our cats are always in the room when we have guests over. But because it's just two of us, we let them run around lah. They're having zoomies, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, baru je dengar korang punya podcast. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. <laughs> nama siapa nama? Oh, I think I think we've talked before, right? Okay. Yeah. Nama siapa? Shurin <laughs> Zul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Shirin, yeah, yeah. Ah, Shirin. Yeah, so what is it? Shirin Zul. Okay, so maybe we start with the next story. Okay. Okay, with the next story. Ini panjang punya. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, this one. This one is. Cerita sedih lah. I, I feel like it's a cerita sedih lah. Okay, lagu okay. sedih please. Please. Cover my IG ID. Bila suami curang. Tak apa je lah, yang tu. <laughs> yang anonymous lah kan. Bila suami curang, orang selalu akan ingat isteri tak boleh beranak, tak tahu masak, tak tahu jaga badan, tak tahu kemas rumah. But it's really not. My experience was, I quit my full-time job thinking I want to be that wife that can uruskan segalanya hal rumah dan anak-anak. So I thought, I can be that wife who gives 150% attention to home and family, Prepping food for the family, being a tutor to my kids, and also going to gym every morning to keep fit and to look good. I lost weight. I lied my husband dengan baik, and I thought I've done my best. Then that year, which has been 13 years since they got married, saw me eye curang, and I caught him <gasps> red-handed. We are still married till now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but to be honest, the trust is zero. Mm. Cuma a lesson we learn is that To the wives yang rasa diri tak lawa Gemuk, tak boleh beranak Tak pandai masak And takut lari, takut suami lari Dengan another better woman 
there is nothing wrong with your imperfection. Seriously, if your man really loves you, he will accept your imperfections because, to be honest, there are no perfect couple. Mm. Wow. Wow. They are still together. Yeah. Oh I mean, based on what was written, um, they've been married to together for 18 years now. Mm. Yeah. So. Wow. Of course. Curang ni is something very, very, very sensitive mm-hmm. because I feel like, like, like what she's, what, like what this uh, lady mentioned, she lost all the trust in in the husband. Zero trust. Yeah, zero trust, and and to be in a relationship with zero trust, that is something very tough. Mm-hmm. You know, like how do you you? I'm pretty sure when you see your husband leave the house to go to work, you'll be mm-hmm. wondering betul ke tak kerja? Mm. Yeah, because the trust is not there. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, you you do not want to, um, you try your. I, I'm pretty sure you try your best not to think too much. But these kind of things get in the head. Yeah. yeah. When something like this happen, women usually will ask themselves, "What did I do wrong? Yeah. Am I not enough? Yeah. Why is he looking outside? Why does he not love me? Mm-hmm. And like, to trust again is very hard, lah. Very yeah. very hard. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, um, what what what, what this lady mentioned is that um. She did everything for the family, mm. but the top, like the children, you got. Kenapa? I don't know. I mean, what goes on in the minds of guys who does this? Or it cannot be not not necessarily just guys, but if the lady as mm. well, you know, the wife does the same thing. So I guess this this churang thing is very very, like I said, it's a very sensitive topic because a lot of things can happen. There are a lot of reasons people justifying why they're doing what they're doing. Mm. You know. But ultimately, like she said, no one is perfect. Mm-hmm. And also, a couple of episodes ago, we had an interview with Abang Fati, right? He also mentioned that um, kita kena kita <laughs> kita kena terima uh, partner kita punya <laughs> imperfection <laughs> because yeah. kita pun bukan perfect. Yeah. yeah, don't don't expect perfection from your partner. Yeah, when yeah. we ourselves are not perfect, right? Because like this lady said lah, mm. no couple is perfect. Yeah, and to think that. She, I mean, if if let's say, okay, let's let's put ourselves in that position. If I every day masa untuk you, I every day work out badan dah macam uh, apa the rock ke apa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but tiba-tiba you tak suka, eh? you, you cari lelaki lain, you cari triple H. Wow, <laughs> asal triple H eh? <laughs> the rock ke apa? The rock you cari triple H. Dia nak putih-putih sikit. Gitu. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah lah, it will make your partner question their worth. Mm. Yeah, I guess this kind of things um, it it will it will strain the relationship, it mm. will it will break the relationship in ways that is um, you know un- unexplainable. I would say, and then, but to think that they're still together that's the thing they're still together. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like senang untuk kita orang luar cakap mm. just leave lah, just leave him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But kalau dah masuk anak, dah masuk bertahun tahun together, it's mm. really hard. I mean, mm. like I, I'm. I'm not in her position. I don't know how she feels exactly, but as a empathetic person mm. looking at her, I would imagine that it would be extremely hard for her to just up and leave the yeah. the marriage. Because um, I think like we we shared with uh, our guests also, our guests shared with us also the process of uh, you know this this kind mm. of divorce is is not easy. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things to go to think about, a lot of things to go through, and yeah. then uh, you know. But at the same time, macam sedih lah tengok. Yeah, it's like there's no love anymore in mm, the in the marriage. Yeah, but no, I don't no know. Trust. Even if okay, um, perhaps right, perhaps there's no trust. But maybe let's say maybe the guy, maybe the I mean the fact that she caught him red-handed, perhaps the guy doesn't take my off. And mm. you know, I'm pretty sure this um forget forgive but never forget kind of thing is playing uh, in mm. in her life. But perhaps uh, I'm assuming because if if she didn't forgive, mm. she definitely wants to be married. Am I right? Okay, let me ask you a question then. Mm. If I, in in a hypothetical world, okay, mm. if I cheat on you, mm. would you give me a second chance? I still love you. Serious? Ah? Yeah, I mean, you're, 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 okay, this is hypothetical, right? But mm. you're, still, you're still my wife. Mm. You're still the one that I fell for. You're still the one that I want to give my life for. Mm. You know, but if that thing happened, of course I'll be devastated and broken. And the same thing that you said, I would want to know what went wrong. What did I not do mm. enough to make sure that you didn't you don't cheat on me but you would still want to be with me personally 
I don't know. Probably we have to go through some counseling sessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, that that being said, uh, when these kind of things happen, there o- there will always be a reason why. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, perhaps we need a professional mm. to come in and tackle that issue, tackle mm. that reason as to why we do the things that we did in the first place. Yeah. I I this is my personal take. Eh. I find infidelity very interesting. Interesting. And I follow this um psychology sci- psychology. Psychologist, okay. <laughs> my mother Esther Perel, and she talks about infidelity a lot. Mm-hmm. And the fact of the matter is that something happened along the way, mm-hmm. a lot of unmet expectations mm-hmm. that led to one party cheating on the other. Okay. So, my like, the idea is not to check up infidelity. Ni okay. Mm. Uh, you can you have to accept infidelity. No, the the idea is to understand the yeah. minds of people who so, uh, who who seek people outside. Yeah. Why? 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 So I find this very interesting. Okay, just give me a minute. Uh. Did someone comment camera angle too in your face? Not going to go. Come here. Ah, okay, that's better. Yeah. Dia macam. Dia macam. Kau tengok lubang hidung ayah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have always been interested in human behavior, Mm-mm. human psychology. Mm-hmm. So, I w- I would want to know why why do people cheat? Like, I really want to understand them. Mm. Memang I don't condone cheating. Mm-mm. Cheating is off the table for me. But I just want to understand like what goes into the minds of these people. Mm-mm. Kenapa? Nah, itu nak cari gaduh. I just want to know why. Why they 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 don't are don't sanggup buat ni itu dia partner Yeah, yeah. correct. Um, there's a comment saying I got cheated before and still wanted had to stay and even gave that person a chance to learn. Mm. And then another one mentioned bila tanya sometimes they don't even know why they don't even know why they cheated. Really? Yeah, but mm, that's interesting. Yeah, probably perhaps probably perhaps probably because they are caught in a situation mm-hmm. like ter terjumpa and then like they said maybe they acted on a whim never think before they do. Uh, comment there. Hmm. Basically, manusia tak pernah merasa puas dan bersyukur. Memang betul. Hmm. Kita uh, and um, I was from uh, I was having a conversation with somebody also uh, saying that oh no, not not conversation. Um, uh, kurba Jumaat. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, so the start was saying something like um, kita manusia akan selalu mencari. Hmm. Kita tak akan puas. Hmm. Yeah. Then I mean, it it goes back to the root belief that I have mm-hmm. is that no couple is perfect. You are not perfect, I'm not perfect. The idea is to learn about each other mm-hmm. and to love the good things and to, I won't say like uh, the the bad things too, to you you over overlook. Okay. No, but I'm just saying that macam abang cakap, mm. you focus on the good yeah. and you try to learn Things mm. about the other person, mm. so that you know you can go through life together. Marriage is like marriage is forever, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and even if if um, I don't know whether I shared this analogy before, mm. but um, cold water. Yeah, the cold water analogy. Yeah. See, I'm gonna repeat it again because I I I believe in that so much. Okay. Okay. So basically, those of you who do not know about this um theory is that if let's say um the wife, let's talk about the wife. Huh? the wife wants an a cold water. And then the guy only has a fan, okay. So his effort is to fan it, fan the water until it's cold. Tapi kalau look warm water too, no matter how hard you fan that water, it won't be will never be cold. cold. It won't be ice cold. And then comes along a guy that brings a bucket of ice. Mm. Would that feel her need mm. for the ice cold water? Mm-hmm. Perhaps yes, definitely. But as 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 a man, or rather as as a partner, I would say, would you treat? Your husband in such a way that oh because he he cannot give me this ice water I go with the guy with ice water. Tapi tu lucky you tau. Mm-hmm. You know like do you not appreciate the effort? I mean yeah thank you for thank you for giving me the fan to to try and cool my water. Mm-hmm. Yeah so at the same time yeah 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 you, you, you if you think that you cannot give him the ice water you tell him what to do lah. Mm. Uh, tell him what what he's missing. Tell him what he's doing wrong so that he yeah. can fulfill you. Yeah that that's that. That is exactly my point. Learn about each other yeah. instead of looking elsewhere. Mm. You learn about each other, and you communicate your 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 needs mm. and your wants. Yeah. 
So your partner knows and you know will will uh, make an effort to meet your meet. Meet your meet. Meet your meet. Meet your meet. Yeah. So kalau you tak bilang macam mana partner you tahu apa yang you nak. Yeah, it's correct. I think people think that it's macam innate or something that is macam no brainer for your partner to know exactly what you want and what you think. Mm. Even kalau dah married pun. Correct. Which doesn't make sense. Correct. Because your partner are not mind readers. Yeah, we are all hum- normal human beings. Exactly. No matter how many years you've been together, mm. you still have to tell your partner what Correct. you want. Correct. You know? It's not macam I understand some women macam ala kalau I have to spell it A to Z, macam mm. dah tak romantic ah, dah tak you know ikhlas, not spontaneous. Yeah. But actually, if you think about it, he cannot meet your expectations Mm-mm. if he doesn't know what, what exactly you want. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so I, I feel like that communication is very cliche, right? We keep saying communication is important, communication is important. But it really is. Yeah, because if you don't have the communication, you won't know where to meet. Exactly. Yeah. So macam maybe I memang suka makan nasi ayam, tapi besok... I nak nasi lemak Tapi I tak bilang you Lepas tu I You happy happy ayam. Sayang I belikan you breakfast Kasi nasi lemak Lepas tu I macam Oh saya belikan nasi lemak ah, ah? Nasi ayam Tak I nak makan nasi lemak uh, uh. Ah. Jadi Oh ya ya You belikan nasi ayam Betul lah betul lah You yang ceritakan I yang correct your story Ya yeah, you belikan <laughs> nasi ayam Lepas tu I cakap Ya I tak nak nasi ayam mm. Lepas tu I marah you yeah. When when actually You know you tak bersalah pun Ya yeah. I should have told you macam ayam besok I macam nak makan nasi lemak. Hmm, correct. Gitu. Yeah, so so okay, this this kind of things can be starting from very little little um arguments though. Mm. This this cheating or and all that. So if let's say you you don't nip it in the bud. You don't nip it in the bud. Yeah, you don't build the conversation <laughs> build the foundation from the start. And then um you don't tell and then you you keep accumulating all this unhappiness, all these um negative feelings towards your partner. Mm. For example, like like this nasi lemak thing lah, nasi lemak example that you just gave. Like, eh, dia asyik belikan air benda yang I tak suka je. Tapi you tak cakap ah, yang tapi, you tak tapi suka. Tapi I tak, I tak bilang dia, for example. Mm. So, then I keep blaming him. He doesn't know what I want. <coughs> yeah, don't doesn't make sense. Yeah, then he's like, you don't know what I want. Mm. I want him, I expect him to know what I want. You don't love me enough. You don't know I like. Yeah, so kalau, but if let's say, two years ago, I buy for you nasi ayam every day, you be like, eh, thank you for nasi ayam every mm. day like that. And then suddenly you like, Don't want that idea. Don't want that idea. I mean, the example is much very very lah. Yeah, but, but you know what I mean. Like, you know what we are it, getting at. Yeah, it's it's in that in that tune lah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of comments about this. Wow. Okay, maybe we we'll just share a little bit lah. Lego. Okay, no matter what's wrong with the relationship, cheating does not justify your actions. Mm-hmm. Yes, because cheating is a choice. I think someone mentioned that. Yeah, and then um, no matter okay. Uh, I don't care already if I'm labeled as the bad guy. The only no self. Sorry, apa ni? Bushy brows. Oh, I forgive definitely for my own peace and sanity, but I will definitely not forget. Yeah. Neither will I. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to, to forget. forget yeah. yeah. Cheating in marriage is inevitable. It will happen at least once in their life. Cheating is a choice. Oh, really? Oh, cheating is inevitable. Inevitable. I mean, I guess there are many forms of cheating. Mm. You know, like cheating from feeling, cheating from. <laughs> Guys, you know that time no. I came back from work. And then right, he. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, I ada satu cerita ni. Okay, okay, okay. I pergi kerja. Ada pun nak pernah. Lepas tu I balik. Mm-hmm. Lepas tu I buka pintu. Yan work from home. Right. Yeah. So he's in front of his laptop and then his iPad was dekat sebelah. Lepas tu I macam ah, I nak balik. Lepas tu the first thing that I saw guys, guess what? Guess what I saw guys? <laughs> I saw on his iPad there's this girl baju macam lagi sikit nak tak. Oh, uh, <laughs> macam, I, that obscene lah, obscene gambar I, I lah. I literally went, ayah, who's that girl? Why you have it on your laptop? Uh, why you have it on your iPad? Ni siapa? What you doing? Then uh, macam, eh, dah, dah, ini ad. Tadi I tengah main game, ni ad. Dah, I tengah tengok anime. Ah, uh, tengah tengok anime. Lepas tu, ada casino punya ad keluar. Yeah. Lepas tu, ada pompan kat situ. Then I'm like, So, okay, okay. Like, I find it hilarious. <laughs> okay, so um, the story is I was doing my work and I was having I was playing my One Piece on the side <laughs> while watching One Piece lah. So yeah. I think about kerja. So then the One Piece ended. Mm-hmm. So the One Piece ended and then someone called me. So um, you know, like three things going on at once. Yeah. So I was talking on the phone. My One Piece show ended and then the advertisement came out. <laughs> and then my laptop in front. So I think about what what. Then after that, my my wife came home. My father came home. I'm like, eh, okay, balik. Then she's like. Apa ni? Asal ada perempuan bogel kat depan you? <laughs> tak bogel lah. Cuma yeah. you know, tak tak sopan. Like, yeah, then I'm like, eh, but, uh, mana ada perempuan bogel? I'm like, huh? I tengok apa ni? <laughs> I tengok one piece apa? <laughs> 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 
I mean, uh, <laughs> jokes aside, it it is nothing nothing huha lah, no huha yeah, lah. I was, was just macam, eh, why got girl like that? Yeah. Like, then I ask him like, oh no no no, I watch anime, I watch anime. <laughs> then he closer the at and then oh, okay lah, like, he's yeah. watching One Piece. Then yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Nasib pada One Piece. Kalau benda lain, mampus. I mean, I know, <laughs> yeah, it's not that type of person lah. But then, I know, yeah, it, it was, was just funny. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was just a little light, lightheartedness lah. Huh? <laughs> but yeah, but back to that story. Um, yeah, cheating is a choice, mm. and of course, no one, of, none of us condone condone cheating lah. Mm-hmm. But um, inshallah, this this couple that shared the story, this lady that shared the story, inshallah, if you're listening, um, we pray for you. We pray for you to you know go through whatever strength that you have, mm. go through whatever um, you know potential problems because okay, we said okay. zero trust. Ah. Uh, I have a question to ask you. Me? Say yeah, say that I cheat on you, right? Mm-mm. What will it take for you to really forgive me and like put it in the past? What would it take? Uh. How much would it take? Mm. Or nothing I do will ever sub- like jump satisfy you because the trust is that broken already. I don't know. Eh. Probably I'll have to I really don't know. Eh. I mean, it's hard, right? Yeah, it's hard to think because I wouldn't even want to imagine that. Right. Yeah, but if that's it, it really happens. Um, perhaps I like for me, I would say, really, I would want to go to counseling. Mm. Yeah, if like for me, if let's say, let's say like anything of this happens, right? The first thing we should do is go straight to counseling. Mm. Yeah, because. Wanamida. Wanamida, tolong Wanamida. Wanamida bahasuan, tolong kita tengok masalah ni. Yeah. So for hits, uh, cheating is end game in my opinion. Then Camille is also saying that. Constant reassurances and actions have to be shown clearly. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would, and then he's mentioned that it will never be the same. Mm-hmm. Hachibi said, "You can forgive, but you'll never forget." Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cliche to say, but it's really true. Mm. It's yeah. easy to forgive, but it's very hard to forget. Yeah. And like, much like you said, much every little thing, I much jadi very uh, anxious, very paranoid. Much mm. eh, dia dekat mana sekarang? Asal lambat. Yeah. It will it will alter that relationship chemistry um, in a very serious manner lah. Yeah. So for the for the one that shared the story, um, inshallah everything will go better for you. Inshallah you'll be able to gain your trust with your husband back. And yeah, moga this marriage that you're having that you're holding on till today may it last till Jannah in the best ways possible. Inshallah. Mm, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, Kuching uh, pun agree. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the next one. Okay, you share the next one. Okay. The today. 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 Okay. Just want to share my story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got married very young at the age of 21. I wasn't blessed with child. Tried and tried but failed. We decided to go for IVF. And that was the period he decided to leave me for another woman. I was at my lowest downfall. Got so depressed, lost weight, and I questioned Allah about my life. I felt like it was so unfair. Fast forward two years later, I got married again, and mashallah, he wrote my life journey beautifully. Got married to a wonderful husband with a wonderful family, and alhamdulillah, I am blessed with a with a zuriat. Alhamdulillah. And we are counting down days to labor. Oh, please, wow. please make dua for us, <laughs> and I to dua for the both of you to be blessed with abundance of rezeki in terms of wealth. Health and baby for, and baby of your own. Amin. Inshallah, Amin. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah, I wow. mean, it just goes to show that Allah mm. dah mm. your life, even though you know, yes, you had that downfall, mm. but mungkin ada hikmah di sebaliknya sebab sekarang you are with a wonderful husband, right? Yeah, and wonderful. now you have a zuriat. Yeah, you're going to be giving birth soon. Inshallah, yeah. all the best to you on your labor. And may you be blessed with a beautiful and uh, soleha, soleh, soleh, hello child, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Uh, we'll be excited to see. I mean, I do, we do not know who you are, but I know <laughs> if you're willing to share, you can share with us also. <laughs> Kita suka tengok babies. <laughs> babies. Yeah, but I mean, uh, going through depression, we, we touch a bit of depression. Mm. Going through depression is something that is not easy. Mm-hmm. It's something that is very tiring, mm-hmm. not just for ourselves, not just for the, apa namanya, 
not just for the person but for people who are with the person mm-hmm. yeah so um no one should be going through depression i think also in the previous episode fred was sharing about mm-hmm. his depression okay as yeah. a person who has never had depression right mm-hmm. i want to ask you a question okay what is what attributed to you falling into that hole of depression i would say the things that's happening around me mm-hmm. um my situation my employment people that I'm mixing with and things like that. Yeah, so um that okay, the thing is there's always good and bad in in at any one point in life, mm. for example. And at that point in time I was focusing too much on my negativity. Mm. Yeah. So when that happens, you just ignore whatever good that is happening. Mm. For example, like for okay, we we put it this way, eh? I am depressed because maybe I I I don't get paid enough, mm. for example. But the thing is some mm. people don't have jobs. So I tak bersyukur yang I ada kerja. Mm. For example lah. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I think about that. So um it it takes a lot of self um self encouragement mm. to be to ensure that okay no matter what negativity is coming through you coming to you you can push yourself out of it. Push it away be as positive as possible. But it's not easy. Mm. Yeah, it takes a lot of um strength from within. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of a good support system and that's where communication also comes into play. You know, um, yeah. And then um, the moment I know I fell is when I didn't want to do anything at all. Mm. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to talk to people. I just wanted to end it all. You know, mm. yeah. But why did it come to that point of you wanting to just leave the world? Tired. Tired. Yeah, I was tired. You didn't have any support back then, or um, is it because you don't have support, or you didn't? seek out support um one of it is of course um i didn't seek out as much as i supposed to mm. yeah and then at the same time i i thought to myself ya allah akbar apakah apa itu apa benda tu jatuh kat belakang wow <laughs> okay, camera okay yeah camera okay i i was inside hey thank you for the gift <laughs> thank you for the gift yeah i was inside That's uh, I, oh yeah where was I? Uh, I didn't search out enough mm. help. And at the same time, I thought that I did not have a way out. Okay. Yeah. So it was like to me, it was like the end goal. It was okay. like this is it. Okay. I got nothing else to do. Okay. Yeah. So so I'm I'm trying to understand mm. right. So say that maybe one person go up to you mm-hmm. and like try to encourage you. Would that have made a difference or no? It could have, but okay, that's the thing. Um, when I was in that state, right, I didn't even. No matter how many people can come to me, you can say nobody be strong things like that. I was just like, shut up, don't say anything, ah. Serious. Yeah, yeah. So, um, it comes. I mean, to me lah, it comes with a lot of. Um, in order for me to get out of it, mm-hmm. I need to be distracted a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah, I need to be shown. Things that probably that is blinded that I blind myself with lah, yeah. So you need to have that. Um, really, the people close to you really needs to be, really needs to see that oh something is not going right with you. Mm-hmm. So you he will need to have that. Um, uh, someone to pull literally pull him out, is if possible. Okay, then how <coughs> how can a loved one mm-hmm. help pull a depressed person out from the hole? For me, personally, yeah. yeah. If I if I have a special relationship relationship with that someone, uh. maybe my sister for example, hug me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you just needed a hug. Yeah. I I feel now now lah when I'm looking mm. back, I just needed a hug, because I felt like I was alone. I felt like I was tired. Mm. Right. I didn't want to do anything. I just needed someone to tell me that I'm loved. Mm. Yeah. Because um, when 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 it happened, whatever happened, it happened. The first thing that came to my head was. My sisters, mm. I do not want to leave them. Yeah, I I needed them, so I went to them and I hugged them. Mm. Yeah, I kind of snapped out of it and I hugged them and then I st- I just started crying in front of them. And then they were like, "What's wrong with you? Why are you crying?" And then that's when my 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 eldest, my not my elder, but the the older one came to me and said, "Are you okay?" Mm. And she hugged me. Uh, the three of us hugged together and things like that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I feel like you really need someone to hug. Was that the was that the mm, shift? Mm. Was that the 
know, it was shift. one of the biggest shift that I had in my mindset lah. And you and, and, and it happened by yourself, like you had that self yeah. awareness. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alhamdulillah, mm. Alhamdulillah, I was I was given the hidayah to to think about my sisters, mm. to to fight on with life. Mm. You know, instead of just running away from the problems. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <Ooh. clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. as a wife, right? Mm. I think I've I've told you this before, lah. But sometimes I'm very worried okay. about you <laughs> because oh. you know you you've had this depression. Do mm-hmm. you still have depression? Um, I I I like to put it this way. Um, this depression, right? Mm. It's a it's like you created a hole in your life. Okay. So this hole is there. It's a scar that belongs to you now. Okay. So. It, Whether it's healed fully, whether there is a, a no still a cut there, it's always there. So of course, at times, the the thoughts come into my head, and I don't deny that it it, it keeps coming when when things are not going well for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the the uh, I really say Alhamdulillah uh, that I have one of the best support system that I have in my life right now. I have you, I have my sisters, and I have my friends, and these kind of people. These are the reasons why I push on every single day. Mm-hmm. Why I push on every single day. I wake up to do something with my life to ensure that I do not ever go back there. Mm. Yeah, and but it's still there, even it's, even it's there. until now. It's there. I I can see it's there. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm not scared. No, don't be, don't be. It's just there to remind me that okay, it's it's sitting at the back there. And I'm going to look at it and say that I'm never going back to you. That's how strong I am right now. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it can come to me. It can be like, hi, Anto, come back to the hole. Yeah, I think uh, I think I've, I've ever mentioned to you before, like mm-hmm. something along the lines of, if you really do that, right, mm-hmm. I will be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> like, please don't do that to me. You yeah. know, I love you so much. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I, I hope that <coughs> <laughs> that is, you know, enough of a motivation yeah. for you not to go back. Uh. Of course, the, the, we, we have a baby. Yeah. Outside in is our baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have we have outside in. We have we have uh, our two little boys. Mm-hmm. It's always annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So noisy right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, depression is bad when the voices in my head gets louder by the day. Yeah. Is that a comment? Yeah. That's why it's important to always seek someone to rely on, be it friends, family, or partner. Yes, for those that is that you think you're going through something, mm. before it gets worse, talk to somebody about it. Mm. Yeah, it might not be a counselor, but it can be a close friend. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully that close friend doesn't judge you for it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so make sure you have a good friend, lah. Mm-hmm. Kalau yeah, the thing that I think that I didn't like about, for example, eh, if let's say I'm going through depression. Mm. Some people will say, "Ah, kau jangan mepi ah." Kau buat buat lah, jadi buat lah. Yeah. Jangan, yeah, lah. jangan sampai aku betul betul eh baru kau nak nyesal, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. So hopefully, whoever is going through it, hopefully you don't have this kind of friends. Hopefully yes. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I didn't have any of that lah. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah. So I'm I mean, I'm I'm blessed. Yeah. Blessed. <laughs> I mean the the thing is right. To be completely honest, because I've never been through depression, mm. I. This is I'm being totally honest. Okay. Uh. I'm trying to understand depression, but I don't understand it. So when people don't understand something, mm-hmm. right, they assume that it's wrong. Yeah. Because I get where we're coming from. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, bottom line is you, like like we always say, just be kind to one another. Yeah, correct. Yeah, don't, kalau orang tu betul-betul dah depressed eh, what good can come out of The negative things that you are saying to them. Yeah, it's no? going to be worse. It's going to get worse. Exactly. So, yeah. macam don't make it worse. Yeah. So <laughs> just be kind. Correct. And and um, I think you shared in our. Uh, I think Farah also posted in our Insta story. To we do not know. She she said we do not know what someone is going through. Yeah. So always be nice to that person, mm-hmm. no matter how how they look, mm-hmm. no matter how they behave. Just be nice. You might never know what's going in their life. What's yeah. going in their life. I mean, if you don't understand, that's fine. But don't be little or don't look down uh, or, or, or yeah. see them as as lower than you are. Yeah, you know, try okay. try and oh, understand. I remember something. Yeah, do you know when when that incident happened to me, right? Um, 
That's one person that's it Dia kena kenapa Okay Serious je apa lah. tadi <gasps> Yeah When? After this happened? After that incident lah How did he know about it? My friend told her told oh. her. Yeah, her. Oops <laughs> Okay <laughs> Yeah What? Mm. Kenapa ada gitu? Tak ada apa-apa je Tadi okay je hmm. yeah, It's like downplaying my my thoughts lah You know Downplaying hmm. my emotions But Yeah um, That that kind of hurt me mm-hmm. But Yeah uh, Sometimes They are who they are yeah. You know So Try your best to always follow Always have a good circle of friends lah Yeah, yeah. Um, Be be healthy for each other mm-hmm. uh, You know Support one another Janganlah sangat selalu nak um, Menjaji maki dorang Got it yeah. Out of fun, yeah, once in a while, it's fine. But when they do something, support them. You never know what hassle they have gone through yeah. to reach where they are in that stage. Sometimes even putting on a smile takes a lot of effort for them. Mm. Yeah. So when they're smiling, when they're laughing, you know, laugh along with them. Mm. Yeah. You can never understand until you go through it. The only way is to be there for that person. Listen. Yes, I agree with you. Yes, yes. Yeah. I used to be. I used to be a PT for MDD past few years. Not all understand what we are going through. Patient for mild depression, is it? Keep your circle more positive. Yeah, definitely. You always have to keep your circle more positive. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And people like me who don't understand, mm. try to try to understand. If you cannot say anything nice, just don't say anything bad at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? If Simpan. you don't understand, then macam dah, diam je. Jangan cakap apa-apa. Kalau, kalau you really want to unleash, unleash your, your, your inner Karen or Ken's <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 know you want to say something bad? Mm-hmm. I go to your Twitter or you know whatever. Yeah. Just pen it down. Lah, yeah. uh, just just you know pen it down. Don't direct it to that person. Correct. Yeah. Number one. Okay, we talk about religion a bit. Number one, berusaha tau. Mm-hmm. Kalau saking hati orang berusaha tau. Mm-hmm. You know. Number two, you are going to create a potential spiral for that person. You know. You never know. Yeah. So don't don't go through that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And and having uh, ha- having a husband. Mm. Who has had depression? <laughs> I sometimes don't know how to go about yeah, doing really. it, but all I can do is keep showing him that I support him, I love him, yeah. and you know, is is that enough? Yeah, okay. You have done the best I can ever ask for. Aww. Okay, because <laughs> like <laughs> 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 because you give me constant affirmation of your love towards me, Aww. and that's something that I I I really appreciate a lot. Mm. And then you you always uh, you know you always talk to me. Mm. You always ask me about my day and things like that. Mm. We always have that communication, and I really really appreciate that a lot. Mm. So I would know when you're having a burnout. I, you would know when I'm tired. You no know, mm-hmm. things like that. So there's always that constant catching up. Yeah, we are connected. That connection lah. Yeah, we, yeah. So. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh, this connection that we have, I really think that it's the reason why I'm, I am happy now. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah, Nina, she was in. She was a patient for a major depressive disorder. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, sure. I hope you're okay, Nina. I hope you're going through. Uh, I mean, you have strength to go through all of this. I really hope you're you're feeling better. And Shabbat. you have a good support system. Yeah, you can always talk to us. You can always be your support system. Inshallah. <laughs> Okay, okay, so shall we move on? Last, last, last. Suram, 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 suram. Okay, so okay. Disclaimer alert for those of you who are not into ghost stories, right? Ah, mm-hmm. uh, you can mute it a while, and then once in a while, <laughs> masuk balik, masuk balik, tengok lah, see whether dah habis belum cerita dia. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, um, before I start, I just want to say that this one quite suram. Yeah, I saw the story, so I was like, no way, man, no. <laughs> okay, okay Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so this happened one day after my mother opened the main door, the main door to my to my house too, into rumah, right? She heard someone was knocking on the door three times. Then dengar macam ada bunyi kunci, gitu. Macam ada orang nak trying to open the door lah. So she opened it because she thought it was my dad. But bila buka, nobody was there. Then. Dia tengok, she look around and not even the neighbours were outside. Nobody is empty. Mm-hmm. And it's like about 11pm like that, okay? And then she was sitting down at the meja makan. The meja makan was very near to the door lah. So she saw whatever happened. Then dia macam, Ma, asal you buka pintu? And dia cakap, uh, I thought ayah. Dia cakap, <laughs> So she was like confused lah. Like, I didn't hear anything at all. She herself didn't hear anything. 
But then Okay lah We just brush it off mm. The next day My daughter demam Had to pick her up from school And then after Asa It all started to go crazy She cried macam nak kena pukul And it took me about 15 minutes to calm her down And then at night She woke up at 3am to play Tiga pagi eh She wanted to play Yeah, So she bangun, she nak keluar bilik And then she nak main ball So my husband bought her a ball Yang ada bunyi loceng kat dalam Okay. Right. So suddenly je dia suka sangat dengan ball tu So she kept playing with the ball right? And then alah, kita thought it was nothing lah But Bila bila the mother Betul-betul perhatikan The daughter right Bila dia tengah main tu mm. It's as if somebody is playing with her Yeah. She she will kick the ball And then she will point somewhere And then macam okay play play gitu. <laughs> As if like she's talking to someone She remembers kat tepi lah eh? Haa uh. So she brush it off lah Thinking macam ah, tak ada apa-apa lah Memang dia main Selalu main sendiri So mm. maybe you know Imagination going wild You know mm. <laughs> So She fall back asleep At 6am guys So ingat tadi Dia bangun pukul 3 Dia nangis macam nak rak Lepas tu she wanted to play right mm. She went out 3am play, play 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 Until 6am and then she fell asleep Oh Yeah And oh. then And then the husband and wife Of course tomorrow work, work lah And the next day It got worse She wake up at 3am again Crying like crazy Macam kena possess She didn't want me Didn't want my husband Didn't want my mom This time it took us Nearly 45 minutes To calm her down And my daughter is not The type yang nangis macam tu tu And I know If dah macam tu Then something is wrong Somewhere And then after that She was crying and crying and crying And she wanted that ball again So nak Nak buatkan dia diam tu mm-hmm. We just give her And let her play for a while But then Bila suruh dia tidur Nangis macam nak rap She got angry Okay get this eh guys eh She got so angry She kicked me She doesn't want me Or the, didn't want my husband at all So my dad took her Azankan sekejap And then she quiet down But part bila masuk bilik je She started to cry again And then we buka ayat Rukiah And my mom tried to calm her down and everything Lama-lama dia diam But I can see I can see from my daughter's face That dia penat gila And dia nak tidur Tapi tak boleh Macam ada benda yang suruh dia jangan tidur Then last-last tidur at 6am again macam rutin every day pukul 3, pukul 6, pukul 3, pukul 6 yeah. And then this keeps happening for a week you know. Mm. Imagine us going to work like zombies Wow. Yeah, so it went on for a week So on the fifth day, hari kelima I remember, she bangun She cry again, macam kena possess And then I hug her tight I ambil dia, I peluk dia And I call her full name Then I baca-baca Then she turn She looked at me dead in the eye And she clenched her teeth Ui, macam cerita exorcist shoot And I swear, I swear her face change At that point, I know that this is not my daughter Then I look at her and I say Kau pergi, kau jangan kacau anak aku Ini bukan tempat kau Ini rumah aku, ini anak aku, kau keluar Aku dah tak takut lagi Big Andy This person say lah <laughs> <laughs> Kalau boleh rembat Aku rembat <laughs> After I said that Her cries slowed down And then she fall asleep But it didn't end there 4am 4 pagi Dia bangun and nangis lagi The same day Yeah, But this time she wants me But not the husband But not the husband yeah. Dia nangis 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 But Bila dia tengah nangis tu dia tenung je kat muka bapak hmm, Muka bapak <laughs> Betul lah Muka ayah dia It's like it's like She can kill someone With that gaze You know It's that angry You know That that kind of Kapa hal You know hmm. <laughs> And then Aku zikir je All the way Until she stops 
But while I was doing that Budak kecil ni nak ball Mula loceng tu lagi <laughs> And then I said no Then she cried even more I told my husband You pergi buang bola tu Alamak kucing <laughs> But we were so busy That my husband lupa lah So the next day Okay this part <laughs> This part a bit scary Okay Mm-hmm. So the next day, right? I mean, pi budak kecil ni. Ini dia so scared. Tapi I tak nampak muka dia. Tapi I tahu dia budak lelaki. Dia kat dalam bilik ni kotor gila. And then I saw budak lelaki ni berdiri depan I, kaki dia kotor gila. Dia pakai shorts yang bau and kotor. But I can only see up until his pinggang lah. But after that dream, I don't know how or why, but I can feel his anger and sadness at the same time. Pastu I tersada sebab anak I nangis dekat pak pagi lagi. My goodness. And then it's the same thing over and over again for a week. So the next day, I just told my brother, I need your help. Can you help us to rukiahkan and pagar rumah? And then I saw bola tu Bola puaka tu Dekat dalam rumah Yang my husband lupa nak buang And then tak pasal-pasal Husband I kena marah <laughs> <laughs> But after we throw that out And um, someone rukiahkan the house and everything My daughter dah tak, tak Tak bangun malam lagi But she still have some nightmares And wake up Saying that she's scared Kalau tengok pintu bilik But she won't cry like crazy anymore Macam that time She will just climb up Onto our bed And continue sleeping with us So yeah We just had to adjust back Her sleeping time And her tantrums And all the meringek Because of this one stupid Ball <laughs> So Moral of the story guys Sebelum buka pintu Tengok peep hole tu dulu <laughs> And Jangan beli bola Ada loceng eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, So I yeah That's the story yeah, I ada soalan Apa dia Kalau you, orang kata-kata You tengok pipi bola ni Jangan Tak nak Belum dah pernah Kalau you tengok pipi hole Tiba-tiba mata Tu kat dalam pipi hole Macam mana Actually eh. kadang-kadang kan When I get uh, Notifications for our doorbell right? uh. I scared to see you so. Kenapa Takut <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm pretty sure Okay, these kind of things Once again, supernatural Supernatural is something that is um, We 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 have to believe that it exists Yes That's all this uh, Jin, Shaitan mm-hmm. It's part of the Quran yeah. But at the same time We need to We need to always know that Kita ni Okay, this is what my father always tell me eh? mm. This is my house This is my belonging You are not allowed in here mm. You are not supposed to be afraid of yourself In your own house mm. Of yourself, you're not supposed to be afraid in your own house. Mm-hmm. That's what my dad always told me. So I mean, the, apa, of course, kita manusia mm-hmm. ada rasa takut juga. Of course, kadang-kadang of course I I takut tu takut, but but if certain things happen, I think uh-huh. also uh, in the previous episode, Ford mentioned that no matter how scared he was, also mm-hmm. this is his wife, this is his house, mm-hmm. the baby, his baby. He also um, kuatkan semangat dia untuk protect his family, mm-hmm. and that's what I feel like. Um, When it comes, this is the kind of reaction that naturally we might have yeah. because this is yeah, our house. So, jangan kalau boleh pun um, kalau rasa lah tak tak baik ke apa. First thing always niat dalam hati uh, niat yang baik mm-hmm. uh, minta tolong daripada Allah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, kuatkan semangat yeah. ini rumah kita. Mm-hmm. So um, yang yang beri kita kekuatan keimanan Allah. Yes, so, yes, I'm I'm very glad you you said that because. Yeah. I think ada satu ustaz ni lah yang nasihat. I think ustaz Fadli Rosli kot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said that whenever this kind of things happen, right, macam kena kacau and everything, right? It's good to be brave, but jangan sampai kita punya, kita punya brave tu comes from macam rasa macam aku ni, aku ni hebat. Mm-hmm. Aku boleh usir setan-setan ni semua keluar. But actually it's not. Yeah. It's it's because of per- pertolongan dari Allah. Yes. That can help too, you know. Yeah. So yeah. we always uh, we get our strength and everything all from him. Yeah. No, not above. from ourselves, guys. Yeah. Remember. Kita mm. adalah hanya manusia. Yes. 
yang diberi kekuatan, yang hmm. diberi ilmu, hmm. diberi segalanya daripada Tuhan. Segala-galanya. Segala-galanya. Segalanya. Hmm. <laughs> Lagu apa tu? Oh, tengok pinhole tiba-tiba balak kat luar. Geng, uh, kau jangan geng. Dia fa- uh, paling favourite ni balak. <laughs> balak, kalau boleh, mm, nak, tak boleh. But I think kalau balak, lepas muka saya. Pengsan. Oh, saya apa-apa ni story. Okay. Dulu lah kan. Mm. Um, cerita The Nun ni baru keluar. Okay. The Nun part 2. Okay. So I watched the first one. Mm. Uh, you know not Nun, what is it? Um, con, 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 conjuring? conjuring? I don't know lah apalah Valak punya movie lah. Yeah. So the moment the first time I saw Valak macam nak terkencing weh. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to terkencing. <laughs> And it was it was too too to me I didn't like it. I didn't like Valak at all. Pasal punya muka dia and things like that. Yeah. So it was the hype of the movie mm-hmm. and then I was downstairs um, I think after the movie we all, me and my friends were all uh, hanging out nak pergi there was this uh, um, there was this scare house mm-hmm. yeah so it was a maze okay and then I don't know what was we oh probably it was Halloween lah kan dia dapat jauh I nampak ada orang cosplay as balak Alma. Dah berjauh asyik I'm not going any step further near there mm. like gi mampus no man <laughs> so I I literally was um, kita kat Starbucks Nak lepak, jalan-jalan Dan dah beli air semua Okay To my to, Without my realisation mm-hmm. My friend actually went To Balak uh-huh. And asked him to scare me Kuang asam yeah. dah So tengah Imagine eh I tengah I tengah Bawa-bawa ketawa-ketawa Tiba-tiba I push Ada orang tap-tap I uh-huh. I pusing Balak, Balak. <laughs> I It was at Cathay uh-huh. Cathay Sini Sini plek ke mana Okay I punya perkek Bilang you <laughs> I shouted I I I flopped to the floor. Oh no. Macam like, Ayo. Ya, yeah, kurang hajar. Kurang hajar be. Ya. Yeah. Dia paling yeah. tak suka gulu-gulu dengan balak guys. Ya, yeah. these are the two beings, two made believe beings <laughs> yang kurang hajar. <laughs> Jangan ah. Oh, eh. Jangan eh I paling pantang. Kalau you act as any one of these and you come to scare me, sekarang ni I would dare to punch your face. I, I pun uh-huh. I pun You buat I tumbuk lah <laughs> <laughs> Jangan sesekali You dah tahu I tak suka Jangan eh Okay sayang <laughs> Tumbuk apa Bini tak bini You buat gini Jumpat-jumpat ke apa Tak lah uh, Cepat you <laughs> <laughs> Tapi I selalu uh, Terpanjatkan you Macam kadang-kadang Tak sengaja Ya yeah. uh, Tu Sorry <laughs> Tak apa uh, I faham I faham <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for the gift, Fasha. Thank you for thank the you. gift. So, okay lah guys, itu je kita punya story stories for mm-hmm. today. Yeah. I hope you know what we shared um, will be of benefit or maybe uh, kita punya opinions resonated with you. Mm-hmm. And yeah, kita just try to understand each other lah and be kind to one another, right? Yeah, so always remember that kita ni semua manusia yang Betul. tak sempurna. Betapa kaya ke betapa pandai ke masuk lubang sama juga nanti Adik lubang apa tak? lubang hey. kubur <laughs> lubang <laughs> kubur lubang lah kubur hey. wow. <laughs> oh, but before we go I would like to show you guys something that we actually have been in planning and we finally hmm. received it yeah. so kita ada vinyl stickers yeah. ni korang boleh tampal dekat helmet ke kat dekat motor, motor ke, ke kat kereta ke kereta ke uh, <laughs> yeah, so we just received it. Uh, we waited for quite a while for this. Yeah. So a lot of been a lot of planning has gone into this. I uh, mean, we've been wanting to do something to for for our supporters lah. Mm, for, for so our at least uh, at the same time also, kalau korang pay sekat korang punya motor ke, korang Helmet kereta ke, ke kat korang punya hand, bag ke, ke, apa-apa lah, pay sekat dayi pun boleh lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so kalau so, kita nampak kita macam ah, insider. <laughs> gitu. Yeah, so so. Korang pakai benda ni kat somewhere dekat luar orang kena eh you dengar asal ini you know that this that yeah. is is for us to show appreciation to you guys lah yeah. uh, so um, harga ke apa tu semua uh, kalau korang nak bilang. nanti kita bilang lah hmm. at the same time you all can DM kita kalau betul betul nak then yeah. uh, insyaallah uh, we'll find a way lah kita belum ada proper planning lagi Correct. but kita dah tunggu ni lama yeah, but yeah. if you really you know love listening to our podcast and everything uh, this is a something small lah that you mm. can you know support us yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, and other than that, you can uh, follow all of our socials and like comment and share, share especially because it will really help our algorithm. Mm. So we can uh, spread this podcast even to to to, to even people. more people. Yeah, because yeah. 
we want to ensure that people are benefiting as yes. much as we can. And and also also uh, subscribe to our YouTube that mm. will help us a lot. Yes. And then also rate our podcast if you haven't. Yeah. Yes. Kita baru belajar ni actually. Yeah. You can, uh, you, uh, you can rate. Yeah, on Spotify. You, you read our Spotify uh, lima bintang eh. Lima Thanks bintang, eh. Five bintang. stars eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. So this this will help us lah, insyaallah. Yeah. In any way, because uh, kita ni just a husband and wife couple. Yes. Kita tak ada team, kita tak ada. Tak ada. Semua benda kita yeah, buat. And then we and semua semua ni we do it out of our own hearts mm-hmm. to spread the love. Yes. Yeah, insyaallah. So. Like, kalau orang dengar, dia suka, then alhamdulillah. Kalau mm. tak, kita tak paksa. Mm-hmm. Okay, kita layan sikit komen. Okay, Hello guys. Oh, Kak Yani. Hello, Kak Yani. Hi, Kak Yani. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, terpegit. Terpegit. <laughs> Gushi Bros. E, no gula-gula. Yes, no gula-gula. <laughs> Hachi B, nice. Tahu lah. Uh, Kak Yani pun nak. Ni. <laughs> Hachi B, nak baju boleh. Oh, okay. Baju eh. Baju kita, we are thinking about that. Because yeah, yeah. we are still trying to find uh, suppliers and things yeah. like that. Because um, we also do not want to buy uh, in, in bulk. Yeah. Tapi tak ada orang pakai. Yeah, okay lah. Yeah. Kalau kalau macam gini kan, we will post it in our socials lah. Maybe mm. like a poll or something. Mm. And then you guys, kalau nak, you guys vote, okay? Vote, vote. Pasti you bilang kawan you. Vote, Orang vote. layan, okay? Kalau yeah. tak, kalau not enough, we won't bring yeah, in that yet time, lah. That time I pernah post, tapi cuma ada berapa je. So yeah. macam, ah, tak ada orang nak lah kot. <laughs> 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 so, yalah. Bang, kalau nak start podcast, what do I need? Macam software semua. Okay, tu akan so. Um, DM us. We will tell you everything. Yeah, you, uh, you can go to our Instagram, DM us, we'll, we'll share whatever that we, we can share lah, insyaAllah. Don't worry, we will share with you. Mm. Kalau apa-apa ilmu yang kita ada, kita akan sharekan. You know, mm. if it's a good thing, we will share, insyaAllah. Yes, insyaAllah. Okay, no problem. Tokasu. Apa? Tokasu. Tokasu nama apa Tokasu? Kita panggil Tokasu je ke? Ke ada nama? Tokasu, nama dia Mats. Ha? Tokasu ke Mats? Ya ke? Ah lah. Oh, Tokasu. Tokasu. That algebra, eh, algorithm, eh. Apa eh? Uh, ge- ge- geometry Eh Tak lalu lupa lah oh, okay. <laughs> okay lah So uh, before we end Okay uh, Once again uh, If you are looking To renovate your house You're looking to renovate your BTO uh, yes. You know Surprise your Surprise your parents With a newly renovated house Oh wow yeah. Okay, you can always contact your Renner Works at 8383-7879. Yes, and uh, their socials is your Reno Works. Yes. Y-O-U-R-R-E-N-O-W-O-R-K. Your S. Reno Works. Uh, your Renner Works. Yes, yeah. ADS guys. Ada S, eh? yeah. So at the same time, also, uh, you can always head on to their website as well, www.yourrennerworks.com. Yeah. I nak try, I nak try buat story video sikit. Okay, boleh, silakan. Hubungilah oh, talian 8383-7879. Your Renault Works. Kenapa Melayu lepas tu English? Huh? Kita kan podcast. Cuma Melayu. Cuma, Melayu. <laughs> Cuma full eh? Yes. Uh, uh, hubungilah Your Renault Works di talian 83, uh, 83, <laughs> 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83